most people, they do that out of fear. I think it's selfish to just want to take your life. Not the best whether choice. Whether you know it or not, whether you yeah, accept choice. it or don't. Could there are a lot of selfish? people that are attached people are to your to life escape. in some kind of way. At first, when it happened, we didn't speak about what actually happened, but we spoke about Tavo. We'd remind ourselves of her, what she used to do. But then after a while, it stopped, and nobody really talks about the suicide. Nobody talks about Tavo, and I'd like to talk about it. Like, they'd ask me, are you fine? And I'd say yes, and then it ends there, because obviously I'm not fine. I'm Zimin Taga, and I'm studying at UCT. I'm a third year student doing TV and film production. I came home at four o'clock. I remember exactly what time I came home and I tried to get into the room, but it was locked. I started worrying because she was feeling down that day, but I looked through the keyhole and there was no key. So I thought, okay, fine, she's not in there. I went next door, I was there for most of the time. And at 10 o'clock, I was like, there's no way that she hasn't looked at her phone because she always gets back to me. And one of my flatmates is like, no, let's go around and let's check by the window which is exactly what we did. They use a torch and she's like, I think I see something. So at that time, I was freaking out. And I was like, okay, let me see. So I went up and I saw her legs and a bit of blood. So I was screaming, apparently I was screaming. And, and we ran to the front and the guys kicked the door open and she was just, she was lying there. So I knew she was gone. I just walked away and I was crying. I told myself I'm not going to feel guilty because once I go there, I don't, like, I don't think there's a point of return. There were a lot of things that I could have gone, what if? Because even the day I remember, I almost didn't leave at 11. I almost stayed but I didn't, I lived. And she was writing something and it turns out that it was actually her suicide note. And when I think back, she was going, I can't do it, Zime, I just can't do it. And I just thought she was being melodramatic about her boyfriend, because she'd just broken up with a guy. And I was like, I remember I held her and I tried to comfort her, but I just thought she'd be fine. Even on Friday, she made sure that we went out on a girls' night. And then on Monday morning, she took her life. Her suicide note, when I actually read it, I thought it was going to give me answers. But there were more questions than answers when I read that. And I got so angry. Like, I hadn't been angry. And when I read that note, I was so angry at her. Personally, I feel like suicide is very selfish. But I'm very sympathetic now towards people who commit suicide. Before, it was just an act of selfishness to me, but I realized that some people, they don't have the coping mechanisms that uh, we do. It happened less than, a, than two months ago. It was, I think it's a month and a half. I think the worst part about me is that I try not to think about her right now. I feel like that's how I'm coping. My family's not here, my mother's not here to actually like emotionally support me, so I've, created a war where I have to function. And it really feels like this it's been so way. long since it happened. Hands and too early. This is for the cold gun to the temple and the scripture he clutches in the other open to just I've right always been a dreamer, but right now nah, my dreams are just not like so much bigger than what they were because I realize that life is so short. I don't just want to live for the sake of living. I want to make something of myself from her memory and it's just made me grow so much as a person. So I'd really like to help people who don't feel like they're strong on their own and they need pillars to support them. I don't think I have a plan. Right now, I feel I need to heal, but I know this will never leave me. Like, I think it's something that I'll always carry my whole life. But I think going back home is gonna help a lot. So I just take it one day at a time. That's all I can do, really.